Hello, Chef here with another quick review. You've seen these knives all over the internet. Uh, these are the cheap ones here. Got to be careful with these. These are uh, the Japanese knockoffs. Yeah, it's a Damascus looking blade. It's uh, not truly Damascus. It is sharp. It's good quality. But, uh, you know, there's a few things to be desired. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick sharpening and I want to show you how to sharpen it without scratching your fancy pattern. So what you want to do is you want to score the clip and you want to put the clip on very carefully on the back of the knife like this. Once the clip is on, you can go left or right and you can sharpen this thing easily. Japanese Waterstone, finer is better. Get the fine ones. Yeah, and if it gets scratched, this one's scratched. Not a big deal. The good ones that come from Japan come with a cleaning block. Real simple. Put a little bit of water on there, like this. Cleaning block. Yeah, it's clean and it's flat again. I'm all done with that. Okay, that goes back in the box. Yep. All right. So what you want to do is put a little bit of water down and the stone should be a little bit wet like this and you want to very carefully do strokes on both sides using the guide clip just like this. It gives you the right angle and repeat with the other side. Okay, that was very very minimal sharpening. I wipe it off. I just wanted to show you uh, just wanted to show you how to sharpen the knife without scratching the blade. There's no scratches on this whatsoever. And uh, really, really nice. Yeah. And I'm also going to uh, grab a piece of paper and show you just how sharp it is. Okay, you're only going to achieve that sharpness if you have a few things. A good quality sharp knife, number one, uh-huh, it's Damascus. The guide clip, number two. Japanese Waterstone, number three. Score all of these at your sponsor right there. I'll put some links in there. Smash the like button down below. Subscribe right here. Butcher Block, the best made in America. Sponsors having a sale with free shipping. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Have a great day. Chef here. So I'm in one of the kitchens with some more knife uh, use and sharpening uh, tips for you. Uh, I've just been using these knives on uh, another uh, cooking procedure. And uh, I shared a video as well. So anyway, they're getting a little dull now. I noticed that right away. Uh, I'm using a stainless steel cut glove. Uh, this one's ready for the laundry, but uh, regardless, it's got a white coating on there, but it's braided stainless steel mesh. So to give you an added level of safety when you're using a knife sharpener like this, this is a diamond steel. These are made in America. I like it. An added level of safety, you're cutting towards yourself or you're sharpening towards yourself to like this. Okay, with the glove on, I have no worries about hitting the guard or hitting my hand. This knife is cut proof. Uh, gives you a high level, it's cut level five, gives you a high level of safety. So when you wanna go a little quicker or you're worried about safety, you put the glove on and you're good to go. So I'm doing about a 15 degree angle here. And people often ask, well, is the knife sharp? I'll show you in just a minute. Same thing here, from the, from the heel all the way to the tip. Now, you got to be careful with these longer knives. You're more likely to hit the guard or your hand. This knife is very, very sharp. And once you get the practice down, you're going to go, wow, so easy. All right, I'm done with those. When I'm all done, I like to wipe them off. Another reason... Another reason to have the glove, you can see a little bit of metal particles right there. So the metal particles don't belong in your food. And there's definitely some steel right there. Okay, 
Uh, I'll be back with a piece of paper and I'll show you just how sharp these things are. And uh, wow! Here we go. Do you think that knife is sharp? I believe it's sharper than any knife in your kitchen or knife block unless you have the right tools. Get the right tools the first time. Buy the best quality you can, uh, you can find. Don't get the cheap stuff. Oh, look at that. These knives are sharp. They're ready to go. They're going back into my knife block. And uh, with that, I want you to get cooking. Get cooking and have a great day. Check out the butcher blocks at the sponsor, the knives, the sharpeners. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Extract. I want to show you these awesome vanilla beans. Monsters label right here, Chef Depot label. Uh, you want to use these together or your own homemade with the beans. Yeah, use these together in any recipe and wow! It's going to really, really kick. You're going to improve it greatly. Uh, in case you're wondering, I've been smoking this over hardwood coals and cherry for quite a while. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah. videos. If you want to learn more about garlic, it's real, real simple. Subscribe right down here. Put garlic in the little search engine and you're going to find all kinds of things. Garlic facts, garlic nutrition, garlic recipes, how to roast the garlic, how to chop garlic, how to mince garlic, how to dice garlic, all kinds of cool stuff. I love it and I eat a lot. And I eat a lot. magical mystery oil. Just a little bit like this. Plastic bag recyclable. Swirling motion. Good. Check out the huge selection at your sponsor. Edge grain, end grain, maple, cherry, walnut, big blocks, small blocks, countertops, island tops, cutting boards and many many other wood products and applications thanks for watching oh so nice to cut on contact the sponsor they're having a sale and I know there's free shipping as well yeah that 
That is the good stuff right there. Chef here, I wanted to talk to you today just real quickly about knife selection as well as knife maintenance. By the way, this set's about 10 years old, looks brand new, these knives function perfectly, well maintained, well sharpened, I take care of them. Subscribe on this channel and learn a lot more about knives and knife sets. And with that, get cooking. Have a great day. Oh uh, yeah, got some fresh basil here. It's looking really, really nice. Look at that color. Oh, a side note. Chef's Butcher Block is a built-in unit. This is about uh, 30 by 25, 4 inches thick, end grain rock maple. And get cooking again. It's awesome. If you need any of these, check out your sponsor. They've got every size and shape, custom, everything imaginable in Butcher Block. Uh, not just these big ones, but smaller cutting boards as well. Uh, quite often, we're using these boards throughout uh, food service, catering, parties. This one here is edge grain. It's also been cut on for about 10 years. And these come in a whole bunch of different sizes. Really, really nice. Get the good stuff the first time. These are made in America. You get a one-year warranty. It's the best you can buy. Get the good stuff the first time. Forget all the garbage, the cheap stuff the mass merchants are trying to push on you. Get cooking and have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good.